Mr. President. Well, I, I gotta, I'm a little confused here because I don't see how you can grow the deficit down by raising people's taxes. You see, I don't think the American people are taxed too little. I think they're taxed too much. I went for one tax increase. I want to make a mistake. I admit it. So that wasn't the right thing to do. Governor Clinton's program wants to tax more and spend more. $150 billion in new taxes. Spend another two, 220. I don't believe that's the way to do it. Here's some things that'll help. Give us a balanced budget amendment. He always talks about Arkansas having a balanced budget, and they do. But he has a balanced budget amendment. Have to do it. I'd like the government to have that. And I think it would discipline not only the Congress, which needs it, but also the executive branch. I'd like to have what 43 governors have, the line item veto. So if the Congress can't cut, and we've got a reckless spending Congress, let the president have a shot at it by wiping out things that are pork barrel or something of that nature. I'd like, I've proposed another one. Uh, some sophisticates think it may be a little gimmicky. I think it's good. It's a checkoff. It says to you as a taxpayer, uh, say you're going to pay a tax of a thousand bucks or something. You can check 10% of that if you want to in one box. And that 10%, $100, or if you're paying 10,000, whatever it is, $1,000, check it off and make the government, make it lower the deficit by that amount. And if the Congress won't do it, if they can't get together and negotiate how to do that, then you'd have a sequester across the board. You'd exempt Social Security. I don't want to tax or touch Social Security. I'm the president that said, hey, don't mess with Social Security, and we haven't. So I believe we need to control the growth of mandatory spending. Back to this gentleman's question. That's the main growing thing in the, econ in the, in the, in the budget. The, the, whole, the program that the president, two-thirds of the budget, I as president, never get to look at, never get to touch. We've got to control that growth to inflation and population increase, but not raise taxes on the American people now. I just don't believe that would stimulate any kind of growth at all.